Camera obscura means dark room in Latin. The box camera obscura, as used in this experiment, was first discovered in a dark room. The idea arose from the experiment utilizing a dark room and making a pinhole in a window covering. The result was an inverse image of an outside scene on the wall opposite the window. In Alhazen's Book of Optics, written in Egypt between 1012 and 1021, he explains that the purpose of his experiment was to show that light travels in time, with speed, and in straight lines. Early models were dark rooms and tents and usually used by artists until around the 18th century when they became portable. Another experiment Alhazen conducted involved watching the half-moon shape of the sun during a solar eclipse. He also did this in a dark room watching the wall opposite an obscured window with a pinhole in the curtain. The law of optics is now common knowledge, but when Alhazen made the discovery, it was foundational to the future of optics and cameras. When light passes through a small hole into a dark room, instead of scattering, it crosses through the hole and onto the parallel surface as an upside down image of the picture outside of the dark room. For our group project, we decided to make our very own camera obscura using a box, a flashlight, a dimly lit room, and aluminum foil punctured with a pin. In the video, we demonstrate the way light travels in a straight line as well as light refraction. To further demonstrate light refraction, Ben filmed an experiment showing the direction of arrows on a piece of paper being reversed when viewed through water. The camera obscures refraction of light would be considered a valid scientific experiment because it explains how light waves travel and how they are perceived by the human eye. The following two drawings give a visual representation of the concepts demonstrated by the camera obscura. The next two drawings demonstrate the concept that light travels in straight lines. This experiment comes before the establishment of the law of optics, which explains how light reflects and refracts. 
This knowledge is crucial to the study of light. Modern day scientists use the law of optics, which leads us to conclude this work is considered science. It is repeatable and has a direct outcome. For example, as we showed you before, covering the top left corner of the flashlight will always result in the bottom right corner being covered on the wall. This video project was the work of Julia Bellman, Elena Rodriguez, and Ben Hughes. Thank you.